<laughs> so, uh, let's take a look at something else uh, that we can cast. Uh, we've, we've, we've upgraded our room, we've casted some pendants. What's another good thing that we will need to make? Uh, well, there are these things, if you look down at the bottom of your page, of your book, uh, over here, and you see this room crafting section, you'll see this thing called groups. Now, you're going to need groups uh, in higher end uh, crafting. Uh, if we look at the, the, the thing here, rarely are individual elements used in final construction procedures. Um, several things you need, you need to join fusing, otherwise restructuring shards. So basically, higher end uh, creation, higher end things will require you to take crystals and combine them together. Um, this was the what I crafted to upgrade my table, uh, if you're interested. But you're going to need these later, and uh, these are, are crafted pretty, um, uh, pretty easily. So, uh, there are multiple different kinds of groups, crystal groups, and they all use the different crystal shards. Four of them. Uh, and then some groups are crafted using uh, well, using other groups. So we're gonna grab ourselves some of these shards. We're gonna go ahead and grab some uh, some Karma shards, and some Nilla shards, and some Zambaru shards, and some Kurari shards. And then we're gonna need Aura Dust. You need Aura Dust for um for all of these basic level ones, not not purification, whatever. Aura Dust. So we go into our casting table, and this does not have to be at this level to do this. This is just basic casting. You need a casting room, and uh, that's important because this is what, actually what I use to upgrade my casting table. Okay, so we've got those in place. Now let's put the uh, the runes in place. That's in the right spot. So if we go over the runes, uh, basically it's just the same four colors that you have the shards, and they're in the same. Uh, orientation as they were in the uh, in the table which is pretty darn useful so let's just go here and uh, and pick them up so we got the red one and the purple one and the magenta one I think is what I would call that and then we need uh, Nilla we need the blue one so there's definitely a Nilla somewhere in this casting room uh, but I can't get to it so we'll go ahead and uh, grab ourselves a Nilla room and then for that for this they need to be placed the third away. One, two, three away. So one, two, and three uh, leads us to placing that there. And then uh, let's just take a look. Uh, this here. And then Kirari at the bottom. And then Kimbaro at the right. And what we end up with is we can cast red crystal groups. So we'll right click on it. And it'll actually craft as many as it can all at once. So depending on how many shards you put in here, uh, I put four of each, it'll it'll automatically cast all of them, which is really nice. You don't gotta sit there and constantly right click. So now we have ourselves a red crystal group. All right, and you're gonna need to use these uh, quite a bit later on. So let's go ahead and cast ourselves another crystal group. Um, the green crystal group. For this one, we need nature fibers. Uh, nature fibers, you, you um, you get them from Aura Ivy in Chromatic Craft. You can uh, break it or you can uh, grind it to get more. Uh, so if we look at that again, because I forgot already, because I'm an idiot, I don't remember things. Uh, we need uh, yellow, light green, dark green, and uh, Vidali. So we'll go ahead and grab those. Three, four, yellow, light green, Dark green. Wait, where my dark? Where my Katrina? Kajani go? Oh well, I must have misclicked. Oh no, there they are. They they fell out of my inventory. Okay, so we'll go ahead and take the ore dust out, and we'll uh, place these in there. I don't know if this is the right order, but we'll fix it later. Probably not the right order. We'll go ahead and grab ourselves the nature fibers. There we go. We'll just do four again. And if we check the book, you can see that uh, yellow at the top, light green at the right, dark green at the bottom, and uh, Vidali at the bottom. So I had three of them in the wrong spot. And now we need to place the runes. Pretty standard stuff uh, if you've been doing this a while. And it's exactly the same thing, but this time they need to be four away. Okay, perfect. 
So we grab uh, the yellow, the light green, the no, no, not Colossio. Got it here. Uh, the dolly and Kajani. So yellow at the top. So one, two, three, four. See, so this goes underneath this uh, item casting stand. Uh, as Zesty on this side, which is already there because we had a previous cast. Uh, of whatever, of something else that required a Asvesti rune there. Uh, Kajani goes there, and the dolly goes here. So now we can go ahead and craft ourselves a green crystal group. We have ourselves a green crystal group. Let's keep going, shall we? We'll craft ourselves the next crystal group. The orange crystal group requires Chromic Dust, and then it requires Riskia, Rizova, Galazio, and Porticali. So we'll grab ourselves Rustia, Ruskia, Galazio, Porticali, and I can't actually remember the, the other one. Ugh, my short term memory on this stuff like this is really bad. Rizova. The pink one. Rizova. Oh, but I want more than that. Three. 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 There we go. We have all the colors we need. And now we need some chromic dust, which if you remember, you can acquire pretty darn, pretty darn easily. Where is it? There it is. If you don't remember, chromic dust, I think you just mine it. Put that there. Now what order do we put these in? For this crystal group. Brown on top, orange on the right, Blue on the bottom, pink on the left. Now, for these, you actually have to put them at a diagonal. So this is going to get a little bit uh, complex. One, two, three, four. And then one, two to the left. One, two, three, four. Two to the up. So that's how it goes. Brown, orange, blue, pink. So I'll grab those. Brown, orange, uh, it's Galazio, and Rizova. Yep. So we gotta go one, two, three, four, and one, two, over. So it's underneath this crystal stand. The Porticali goes over here and goes under this crystal stand, one up. Galazio goes down and under this crystal stand. And then Rizova goes this way to the left, and then on this crystal stand. And now we can craft an orange crystal group. Oh, I need more chromic dust to craft all four of them that I wanted to craft. Because I'm an idiot. As I think we've established in previous episodes. Oh yeah, because there's something already in there. Just being a big dummy. Okay, so now we have that crystal group. So, if we go back down in here, we have an orange, now we need white. So we need fixation dust, and then the uh, the white, the black, gr light gray, white, and dark gray. So, we need to grab ourselves some Argia, Hickory, Kiro, and Tahara. Grab more of those. And then we need fixation dust which is this one. And you get that from Luma Lotuses. And Luma Lotuses, I think, tend to grow in cold climates. So here we can see all the chromoflora. All right, so fixation dust goes in the center. And then I actually don't remember what order these go in. So let's just place these in, in N order. And then we'll check the real order and see how close we got. Kuro on top, Tahara on the bottom, RG on the right, Ikri on the left. Hey, I was only one off. Now we need to place our runes. They will go, I assume, in the same order, because that's what everyone else has been doing. But now we go up four and to the right instead of to the left. Makes perfect sense. So we will grab ourselves a Kuro, an Argia, an Ikri, and a Tahara. Dang, I did it again. 
So for the Kuro, we go up here and we go to that one. The next one is Argia. So we will go to this one. Then we have Tahara, which we will go to this one. You can see that we're filling in the gaps underneath the, uh, the blocks underneath these casting stands. So we will go this way and we will go to that one. Now we can craft ourselves some white crystal groups. And as I said before, these crystal groups are going to be quite necessary. Okay, so now we've crafted I've, we've crafted each of the four basic groups. Because there's 16 uh, crystals, each one requires four, we now have four. If we go to the right even more, we get into crystal clusters. And crystal clusters are crafted using the crystal groups. That's how we crafted more than one of each. Uh, if we go, it doesn't actually require any special runes. However, uh, these, this one, for instance, doesn't even require anything else. So we just need two reds, two greens, and a Tahara crystal. And we can go ahead and craft this. So here's our two reds. Here's our two greens. Now we just need a uh, Tahara crystal shard. I might need more, so I'll just grab a bunch of them. Uh, Tahara crystal shard, because remember, Tahara is the color that uh, uh, contains all the others, basically. You know, that's how light works. Now we have ourselves a primary crystal cluster. So if we go back down to the groups, primary crystal cluster, now we have secondary crystal cluster, which is orange and white with a Kuro shard. So we'll put our Kuro shard in there, we'll put in our orange clusters, we'll put in our white clusters, now we can craft a secondary crystal cluster. There we go, we have our two crystal clusters. We go back to groups. You can notice there's a lot of stuff under the groups tab, so you're really going to have to want to look at this quite a bit. Primary and secondary crystal clusters. Now we have a crystal core, which only requires a diamond, you might think. Actually, no, because this recipe requires that we have our casting temple so that we can place things in our casting stand. We need two primary crystal clusters and two secondary crystal clusters and a diamond to craft ourselves some crystal cores. And crystal cores are a necessary component of higher end uh, uh, crafting crafts. So we got another primary and another secondary because we only had one of each. So we would have had to craft all, f that's, why I, that's why I crafted four, because you're gonna need to craft four of each of these if you wanna get enough uh, crystal clusters to get a crystal core. So let's grab a diamond. We will place our diamond in here. And now we need to place our primary and secondary crystal clusters. Boop. 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 No! You gotta be careful that you don't double right click and they pop out. Let me check this. Did I put those in the right spots? Crystal core. Nope, I had them in the exact opposite spots they were supposed to go in. Because I'm a big idiot. No, I didn't want to do that. I'm supposed to right click, not left click. Come on, go back in. Oh, we can just uh, swap them out. That's useful. So there's an item already in there. You just right click with a different one and it'll just swap it. Now we can craft a crystal core. Oh, cool light show. A treat for the eyes and the ears. There we go. So now you have four crystal cores, which as I mentioned, are, are used for higher end crafting. But it doesn't stop there, it actually goes even higher to something called a crystal star. This requires another star, and it requires that you have Kuro runes in your various corners, and then you have to have four crystal cores and one of each of the boosted crystal shards. I mean, this is a big crafting recipe right here. Big one. So it's got up and down arrows because there's so much stuff here. Okay, let's go ahead and craft it, and uh, this is going to be sick. So, we need ourselves a nether star, so you need to go ahead and kill the wither. Uh, and then we need to place our crystal cores. Now we need our boosted shards, and I'm pretty sure the order is probably going to be... Yep, it's the same order as always. The order that's in the... Um... 
that's in, that's in here. Uh, you know, Kuro, Karmer, Kajani, Riskia, Nilla, Zimbaru, Badali. You'll get used to this. Uh, you do it enough. Starts in the upper left corner again. So it's the same order as these runes that we placed down here. So once you get those runes placed, that, that'll help remind you of this order, because this order is used for a lot of stuff. They gotta be boosted as well. Do I have... Yeah, I grabbed the boosted ones. Do 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 Grabbing the rest. Grabbing the rest. Make sure I grab them in the proper order. So I don't screw myself up. Do do. And as you can well imagine, this recipe, these things are used for very high-end crafting. Alright, so now we just gotta make sure that we have uh, Kuro runes in the proper spots. Uh, so, if we go back to the book, I think it's uh, 1, 2, 3rd diagonal. Yep. 1, 2, and 3. So we have to have to have it underneath this block. So, Kuro rune. Kuro rune. Kuro rune. There we go. Let's see, we don't actually have to have those blocks there. Oh, get out of here. You're messing with the ambience. So, this is what you can... This is, as you can see, this is what you can expect from endgame, or closer to endgame, Chromatocraft casting. Having lots of items in all of these different casting stands. And there we go. We now have uh, Crystal Stars, which are very high-end. Anything else? Nope. That's the highest end of crystal groups. So as you can see, we worked our way through uh, from all of these to get these crystal stars. So as soon as you upgrade from a casting temple uh, room to a casting temple and have all these casting stands in place, uh, you could go ahead and craft yourself some of these as long as you kill a, a wither to get another star. Um, but you're going to need these for later on. Anyway, that's it for this episode. I think it's gone on long enough. It's going to give you a nice meaty episode to bite into. Uh, just to recap what we did, we upgraded our uh, casting room into a casting temple. And uh, we, crafted, we crafted some, ca uh, we crafted some uh, pendants. Uh, and, and we also crafted all the uh, crystal groups. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. Uh, like and comment the video if you did enjoy it. Stay tuned for future episodes. Um, yeah, join our Discord if you're interested, especially if you've got questions about Chromatic Craft. There's a lot of people in there that are knowledgeable, uh, I'm, to say the least. I'm Sentinel-H, and I'm signing out. <laughs>